You're running, your knees start to ache, the ache turns to pain, and it's all you can focus on, and it's ruining your runs. So how do you prevent knee pain when running so that you can get back to enjoying running pain-free? In this video, we're gonna show you how. The first way you can avoid knee pain when running is with a proper warm-up. Warming up will help your knees release synovial fluid. Synovial fluid is like lube for the joints. It slides around better. This keeps the knee joint moving freely, meaning that you won't be in pain. You can warm up properly in six minutes. Here's what you need to do in this exact order. First, you need to raise your heart rate. You can do light jogging and this should take you around one to two minutes. Then you want to activate your muscles. You should do bodyweight exercises for around three to six reps and this should take you one to two minutes. Spend more time warming up your lower body. So your glutes, your hamstrings, your quadriceps and your hamstring muscles. After that, do some dynamic stretches. Focus on your lower body again. This should take you around one to two minutes. The stretches you do here should closely mimic what you're about to do in your workout session. The final part of your super efficient warm-up is one to two running strides. Run close to the pace of your running session here. These running strides should take you roughly around one minute. Your running shoes need to support your natural running style and gait. Although, if you're a heel striker, we've got some special advice for you later on in the video. The wrong footwear can pull your kneecap away from its natural position, placing more force and stress on the knee. So what should you be considering when buying running shoes? Well first we need to look at your pronation, how your foot makes contact with the ground when you run. Grab your existing running shoes and have a look at the bottom of each shoe. If you have a neutral pronation there's wear in the middle of the shoe. Look for a neutral running shoe. If you over pronate there will be wear and tear on the inside of the shoe. Your arch will tend to collapse when you run and a more supportive shoe is needed. And if you're seeing more wear on the outside of the shoe you are a supinator. You can use a neutral shoe but there are some specific running shoes designed for supinators too. We've included links in the description for each of these types of running shoes and there's a video that's going to go into more detail and shows an easy way to see what type of pronation you have here. The third thing you can do is swap road runs for trail runs. If you're experiencing knee pain when you run right now, it's time to reorganize your running schedule and change where you're running. Swap one or two of your road runs for a couple of trail runs each week. Trail routes are softer on your feet and they're better for your knee joints. This will help reduce knee pain and you'll recover quicker after your run. Do your legs feel tight before or after a run? If so, invest in a foam roller. Tight fascia and muscles cause restrictions in your movement. Change your running style and can cause knee pain when you run. Before and after every track session, you'll see us foam rolling our quads, glutes, hamstrings, and calf muscles for about one to two minutes on each muscle. Improving mobility in and around the knee will reduce your knee pain when you run. The fifth thing that you can do is improve the mobility of your ankles. If your ankles aren't mobile, the knee will have to absorb the force, which could be a reason for knee pain right now. Here's a simple exercise to improve the mobility of your ankles and fix your knee pain which is called the box stretch. Put one foot on a box, a bench or a chair. Push forward keeping your heel placed on the box. You should feel a really nice stretch in the calf. Hold this stretch for a couple of seconds and then relax and you want to repeat this five times each side. If your kneecap is being pulled from where it naturally wants to sit, it can very quickly start to cause pain in your knee. But if you're feeling particularly tight in your hips then an assisted hip airplane stretch is your go-to. Grab onto something stable like a wall, plant your less mobile foot on the ground and bring the other foot back. Drop your power this down on the side that's lifted. Point your belly button towards the opposite side of the lifted leg. Hold for five seconds, relax, and come back up. Repeat this five times each side. Another way to avoid knee pain when running is to improve knee strength and stability. Your knee may be unable to cope with the forces that you're placing them under right now. Solution, strengthen the knee. Let's go through a few exercises that you can do. Here's an exercise that you can do at home called knee bends. Stand roughly a foot away from the wall with your knees hip width apart, slightly flared out. Slide down the back of the wall and make sure your knees don't go past your toes. Your knees should point in the same direction as your toes. Squeeze your quad muscles and your glutes and bring yourself back to the start position. Here's another exercise that you can do at home called the single leg wall sit. With your back against the wall and your feet out in front of you, slide down the wall. Sit with your knees bent at around 60 degrees. Keep the injured leg in contact with the floor. Raise your good leg up. Hold this position for 45 seconds and then you want to repeat this five times. Here's an exercise that you can do in the gym called the Spanish squat. Grab a thick resistance band and loop it around something that won't move. Place the resistance band behind your knees at the top of your calf muscles. Keep your toes facing the band attachment. Keep your back straight and your chest up and then you want to squat down as deep as possible and you want to hold this position for 45 seconds and again you want to be repeating this five times. Here's another exercise that you can do called the Bulgarian split squat. Hold a dumbbell in each hand with your feet hip width apart. Place your rear foot on a bench behind you. Lower your hips towards the floor. Your rear knee should come close to the floor and then you want to pause at the bottom and then push through the front of the foot. Here, we'd recommend doing four sets of 15 reps. So the eighth way to get rid of your knee pain when running is to run with a slight forward lean. This is favored by every single top athlete to help them run faster
faster with more efficiency while also decreasing their risk of knee pain and injury when running. Here's a quick drill you can do to practice when running with a forward lean. Stand tall on the balls of your feet and lean forward with a falling motion. Maintain good upright posture. Stride off to practice getting a slight forward lean when you run. Overstriding which causes you to land on your heel first when you run places more force and stress through the knee. Increasing the number of steps you take per minute when you run, also known as cadence, can fix this problem. The fast feet drill is your solution. It's an intense drill, so only do this for two to three times over five to 10 meters and take some rest between each one. Run naturally over 10 meters and see how many steps you take. Repeat the same run and shorten your stride, which will increase the number of steps you take over the same distance, like this. To give you an idea for a normal run, you should be aiming for a cadence of around 180 steps per minute. Most good sports watches like the Garmin 245, which we use, will give you an idea of your cadence. Another way that you can prevent knee pain when running is to move from heel striking to four foot striking. When your foot lands in front of you, you're putting on the brakes with every foot strike. This sends a lot of impact to your knees, which will increase the risk of knee pain when running and also injury. When you move to a four foot strike, you reduce your chances of getting knee pain when running. You're more economical and you will run faster because of it. To make this happen, you want to be doing a high knees drill. Stand nice and tall and you want to imagine a piece of string attached to the top of your head that's pulling you upwards. Move your arms with a slight bend, bring your knees towards your chest and lean slightly forward while you're doing this. When you're moving from point A to point B, focus on the contact with the ground on the balls of your feet. This will take some time to get used to, especially if you've been running with a heel strike for years, but just don't be disheartened. Rome wasn't built in a day. When adjusting your running form, it's a great idea as well to get your phone out and video your technique from the side. Do your running shoes look like this? If so, it's definitely time for a new pair. They're no longer providing the stability, support or cushioning you need when you run. Increased impact can cause pain in the knees. You should look to change your running shoes every four to 500 miles. If you use Strava, it'll even send you an email that'll let you know when they're close to that distance. Another way to prevent knee pain when you run is to make sure you cool down after every single one of your runs. Cooling down after your run will help to avoid getting knee pain in your future runs. So what knee stretches can you do as a runner? The standing quad stretch, find something to hold onto for balance. If you aren't back at the car, then a tree or fence will do. You wanna stand nice and tall and focus on something directly ahead of you. This will help to keep your balance and your posture nice and upright. While standing, raise one leg up behind you and grasp your foot and pull it up into your first stretch. The next stretch is a seated hamstring stretch. Sit on the floor with one leg stretched out in front of you and the other side bent with your knee out to one side. Lean towards your foot and bring your hands as far down the leg as you can. Another stretch you should do is the prone gastrocnemius stretch. To do this, put your hands and feet on the ground while facing down. Think of this a little bit like a plank. Straighten your knees and try to push one heel down towards the ground. Cross the other leg over the top and apply extra pressure to the stretch. You want to hold this for 30 seconds and repeat on the other side. If you just started to get knee pain when you run, work through what we've already shown you to identify what the cause might be. To get short-term relief, ice in the area for 20 minutes is great for reducing inflammation, swelling, and numbing the pain. Grab a bag of peas from the freezer, wrap them in a tea towel, and apply them to the area. If you had a pain in your knee for a while, or you're dealing with a long-term injury, use heat. Heat helps relax the muscles around the area by widening the blood vessels. Heat should be used for 20 minutes at a time. Another way to prevent knee pain when you run is to give your knees a break. As much as every single one of these tips can help you to avoid knee pain when you run, if you're doing too much running for what your body can cope with right now, all of the tips above will only mask the problem. My general guidelines would be to leave 24 hours between each run, as your muscles and joints need about 24 to 72 hours for full recovery. If you're getting knee pain when you run, it could be down to a number of things, or maybe just one of them. Work through the solutions in this video and see what works for you, and let us know in the comments below how you get on. Now that you've got your knee pain sorted, you'll want to make sure that all parts of your running form are sorted as well. Click here to find out how to have the perfect running form.